Hello, this is John from ExileTV.com, and welcome to part two of our full disk encryption for Linux tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're using Slackware 13 um, to show off full disk uh, encryption for Linux. So, uh, we've just finished the installing the packages. This is the next screen that the installer presents you. It's going to ask you to make a USB boot drive. We do not want to do this. You can do this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to skip that. Install Lilo. We're going to put simple install. Uh, leave all that standard. It's going to basically install this on the master boot record. And there we go. It's uh, it's asking us where we want to install the bootloader. We're going to select MBR for master boot record. It's going to install this. Now this will not work the way it is. So in order to fix that issue we need to do a little bit of custom uh, stuff before we uh, we reboot this. We're selecting the time zone here. I'm just going to go through the motions real quick. It's going to ask for the root password. Let's put in a root password real quick. I was telling you my password is too short, but what are you going to do? I'm just doing this for the tutorial. Uh, it's now saying the installation is complete. Is complete. You may exit, set up, and reboot your machine with Control Alt Delete when you're ready to reboot. We're not ready to reboot yet, so we're going to exit out of this install. And now what we need to do is we need to make the boot image. To do that we're going to chroot into the slash mnt environment. By the way, uh, after the install it prepares slash mnt uh, as a chrooted environment already so we don't need to do any of the normal commands you would use in a chrooted environment because it's already been created. Which is nice. So now what we need to do is make initrd dash c dash k. We want to clear out the old uh, images that may be there. We want to use the 2.6.29.6 dash SNMP kernel. Uh, we're going to use ext4 as the module we want to load, and the file system is also ext4, which is why we're loading that module. Um, the root is slash dev slash crypt bg slash root, and capital C here is actually on. HDA2-L. Alright, so you can see this is going to run and do a little little bit of magic here. Now that that's complete, we need to do one more thing. That automatically copies that to the slash boot folder, so we're good to go. The next thing we need to do is to vi and go and edit the etc slash lilo.conf. We want to go down to the bottom, and you'll see we have image equals slash boot slash linux, root equals slash crypt slash root. And we want to go here, we want to hit O to edit the next line. We want to add init rd equals slash boot slash init rd dot gz and hit escape to exit that mode. Hit colon wq to write and save. We just want to hit lilo. This is going to add all this. You may get some warnings. Don't, uh, don't really worry about that. Uh, everything is fine and at that point we can reboot and we will see what happens. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you have uh, a SCSI hard drive or SAS or SATA you may have to put some special boot parameters or something into the kernel if you wanted to boot. I've had that issue before and it was was not was not fun. So here's our boot screen we installed. We're going to boot this up. You see Linux is now loading and hopefully we'll be presented with a password prompt to decrypt the the Linux file system and we will not be uh, presented with a crash. So there you are. It's asking for my password. If I remember our password was Linux and it should uh, there you go, command successful. It's reading all the physical volumes. Now it's found the volume group and now it's going to find the actual swap and root partition. It should boot us up. And there you go, there's a brand new Linux install. First time boot and it's going to start creating our SSH keys, all that nice stuff. And at this point your hard drive is fully encrypted. There's nothing extra you need to do. Um, and log in with root. And now we're in our fully encrypted Linux system. You can look at the FS tab, sorry, it's ETC, where's my mind? And you can see how it has it mounted, crypt swap, crypt root. And 
basically our file system is completely encrypted. Now we can just shut down, reboot, whatever we want to at our whim, and you now have your very own fully encrypted Linux uh, system. Uh, thank you for watching, and this has been a Exile TV production, and have a nice day.